All right. This lecture is the introduction of even or odd function in Fourier series. I'll start with the definition of odd and even function, and the properties involved integral, and some examples. Then I'll talk about in detail product of even and even function. Odd and odd function, odd and even function. Then I'll talk about the quick ways to memorize these properties of products. Lastly, I will talk about Fourier series of odd function where Vn is equal to zero, and then Fourier series of even function where a zero and a n are zero. We will start off with a definition of an even function. A function f of t is even whenever f of minus t is equal to f of t for all t. The graph of even function is always symmetrical about y axis. So you can see that the graph, for example, on the right side is symmetrical in y axis. And the area from minus a to a, let's say, say this is the a here, let's say a is minus 2 here. So even from minus a to a, say minus 2 to 2, you find that it's the same as the 2 times the area from 0 to a. So this area here, there are negative area here. Let's say, put it here, this negative area here, positive area here. You see that because the graph is symmetrical, so the area from minus a to a is minus a here, this a here. The area from minus a to a is two times the area from zero to a, which is quite obvious because the graph is symmetrical. Now, what are the examples of even function? Could be ft equal to t squared is an even function because you change the t to minus t, you get back also t squared. And also, example of let's say gt equal to cosine t. This is an even function. You can, you can easily check that g of minus t is the same as g of t. So these are example of even function. Now, to show that ft equal to t squared is even, it is enough to show that f of minus t, which we change the t to minus t now, the minus t square happen to be minus t square, you square you get t square, and happen to be this is f of t. So f of t is equal to f of minus t. Similarly, to show that gt is even, where gt is cosine t now, you change the t to minus t, so you get g of minus t is equal to cosine of negative t down, which is the same as cosine of t because this property is a cosine function and happen to be this gt. So by doing so, I know gt is an even function. Definition. We say that the function ft is odd if f of minus t is the same as negative of ft for all t. The graph of the odd function 
is always the metric about the origin. But what does it mean? Here is a graph of a power function. As you can see, as you can see, I draw a straight line, pass through the origin, and then for example, it cut the right hand side at one point here. Equal distance away from origin, you get another point, which is here. Of course, there are also other points you can try. You can try, say, there are also other points here. Equal distance from origin, there is another point. After intercept, you can find another point. You can do it for any line. Okay, any line. And you will find that there's a point symmetrical on the opposite side of the graph. Okay, on the right hand side and the left hand side, they are on the the sign, they have the same value except the sign is different. Next, how about the integral now? So we have the integral from minus a to a of a function is always equal to zero. Let's say this is negative a here. So the area under the curve And A here under the curve. You find that this area on the left hand side and this area from the right hand side, including the small little hole. they will cancel each other. Therefore, the integral from minus a to a is equal to zero. So what are the examples of a function? Example are ft equal to t or another one that's a gt equal to psi t. These are all functions. How do you show that this function are odd? You just have to show f of minus t equal to minus f. I'll show in the next slide here. I almost forget. Another way to show that the graph is odd is you rotate the line 180 degrees. Then you find that the line intersects the curve again and at the opposite side. With opposite sign. Here's one way to see that the graph is odd. Now let me show you how to show that ft is odd here. For example, ft is odd because if ft equal to t now, Then f of minus t, of course, change the t to minus t now. And then this is negative of ft. Alright, so this definitely show you that ft equal t is odd. Same thing here. Alright, to show that vt is equal to 
sai thì how now how do you show you change the t to minus t now so g of minus t is equal to sine of negative t but by the property of sine function this is negative of sine t which is equal to negative of g t so we are sure that g t equal to sine t is actually uh, of function however not all functions are odd and not all functions are even example t squared plus t is not odd and not even you can see from the graph that it is not symmetrical in y-axis and also not symmetrical in origin now we are going to investigate the product of two even function first Let's say ft and gt are even function. That means that f of negative t is same as ft. For all t and g of negative t equal to g of t for all t. So now our product, let's say h of t is equal to f t and g t multiplied together let's see what happens when t change to minus t then it becomes f of minus t g of minus t multiplied together but then f of minus t is same as f t g of minus t is same as g t so that means this is actually equal to h of t so h of minus t is in the h of t now. So the product of two even function is even. For example, that means that for example f t is equal to t square, g t equal to cosine t the product f t 3 t is equal to t square cosine t is even let's now investigate the product of two odd function f t and g t that means f of minus t equal to minus f t now for all t g of minus t equal to minus g t for all t now let's look at h t as a product of f t g t if t is changed to minus t then h of minus t will give you f of minus t g of minus t But then, f of minus t is negative of f t. g of minus t is negative of g t. And then, because two negative signs cancel each other, eventually you get f t g t. which is equal to ht again therefore we know that product of two odd function is even since h of negative t is the same as h of t therefore let's say if ft equal to t which is the odd function and gt equals sine t is all function the product ft gt is t sine t is even now 
let's investigate product of one event function ft and one odd function gt. That means that so since f is even, f of minus t equal to ft for all t, and g is odd, g of minus t is equal to negative g of t for all t. Now let's take the product ht equal to ft times gt and change the t to negative t now you get f of gt become f of negative t g of negative t now and we know that f of negative t is actually f of t g of negative t is minus gt so finally it becomes negative of ft gt which is equal to negative of ht so in this case ht as a product of even function or odd function is actually an odd function so for example if ft is t squared which is even and gt is sine t which is odd multiply together this will be t squared sine t and this is odd now so how do we remember the pattern even function the function is the year function. Oh, all right, we know even number, even number is even number. Right now, we have all function, the all function is again an even function. Very different from all number, all number, all number, right? And even function, the all function, now is all function. They're very different from even number, all number, we can even number. So how do we remember this pattern? So we can use take the intuition for even to be plus sign or to be negative sign. Then you have pattern of positive and positive you get positive. Even function times even function is an even function and negative is all function now times all function again you get positive now even function. And then if you have even function times all function you get all function which is negative again. This is how we can remember the pattern of even function or all function. What does the result look like? Now we are going to look at how the Fourier series of an odd periodic function, the period t, simplify. We know the Fourier series have a zero, a n, and b n. Now for an odd periodic function. A0 and An is equal to 0 for all n. And Bn becomes 4 over t, integrate from t over 2, ft sine and omega 0 t dt. Here is the proof of A0 is equal to 0. Because from the formula of A0, we know this is equal to 1 over t. Then k to k plus t ft dt. Now you choose k to be minus t over 2. Then k to the wall become 1 over t of minus t over 2 to t over 2 
ft dt. However, we know the function is odd. So uh, for the odd function, we know that integral from minus a to a ft dt is equal to zero. Therefore, a zero is zero. Here is a proof of a n is equal to zero for all periodic function. We know the formula of a n is two over t integral of f t cosine n omega zero t from k to k plus t. Now we change k to minus t over two. So this integral becomes two over t from minus t over two to t over two f t cosine n omega zero t dt. Now investigate the product now. This is the product of a uh, odd function times the even function cosine even function here. Yeah. So the result is an uh, odd function. And we know integral of all function from minus a to a ft dt is equal to zero. Ft r here. So in that case, we know a n is equal to zero now. For your, you can put a equal to minus t over two to t over two. Okay, so you only need to find Bn for odd periodic function. And formula for Bn is 2 over t integral of ft sine and omega 0 t from k to k plus t. Now what you do is put k equal to minus t over 2. Then this will integral become from minus t over 2 to t over 2 ft sine and omega 0 t dt. Now since we know all function ft and sine also all function, so all time all function is now an even function now. And we know that for even function, integration of minus a to a ft dt for even function is equal to 2 times integral from 0 to a ft dt when I talk about even function. Because even function is symmetrical in y axis. So this will become 2 over t times integral 2 of 0 to t over 2 ft psi and omega 0 t dt. That's how eventually you get 4 over t from 0 to t over 2 and then ft psi and omega 0 t dt. Finally, we are going to talk about Fourier series of even periodic function. Then ft equal to a to plus summation of an cosine n omega 0 t plus summation of bn sine omega 0 t and bn are all 0 so this bn will disappear now disappear mm -hmm. 
and the a n becomes 4 over t integral of ft cosine n omega 0 t from 0 to t over 2. And a 0 is 2 over t integral of ft from 0 to t over 2. Well, see the proof of this. The following is the proof of e n equal to 0 for n equal to 1, 2, 3, and so on. We know bn is 2 over t, integral of ft sine n omega 0 t from interval k to k plus t. And again, you choose k equal to minus t over 2. So this becomes 2 over t from minus t over 2, t over 2, ft sine and omega 0 t. Now, ft is the even function. Sine t is the odd function. So this is happening to be even times odd function. The result is the odd function. And we know that from earlier result, integral from minus a to a of function this is equal to zero because a wave from the left hand side a wave from the right hand side will cancel each other so this bn is equal to zero now this is why bn disappear so for the even function you don't need to find the bn because bn disappear Now, we are going to find the formula for a zero, which we know 1 over t integral of ft from k to k plus t. What you do is put k equal to minus t over 2. If the function is even, this is going to be 1 over t and minus t over 2 to t over 2 now, ft dt. I know that if a function is even, integral from minus a to a, ft dt is equal 2 times integral from 0 to a, ft dt. So this is actually 1 over t times 2 times the integral from 0 to t over 2 ft dt now. And this is actually 2 over t, 0 to t over 2 ft dt. This is how you find the formula for a0. Finally, we are going to investigate the Fourier series of even periodic function and what is the formula for EN. We know this is 2 over t integral of ft cosine n omega 0 t from k to k plus t. And now we put k equal to minus t over 2. Then this integral becomes 2 over t from minus t over 2 to t over 2 ft cosine and omega 0 t dt. Now, ft happens to be even function. Cosine also happens to be even function. So multiply together two even functions, you get an even function. And we know that for even function ft integrate from minus a to a this is 
equal to 2 times integral from 0 to a ft dt. So this will be equal to 2 over t times 2 times integral of 0 to t over 2 ft cosine and omega 0 t. So this becomes 4 over t now times 0 to t over 2 ft cosine and omega 0 t dt. And this is the formula for an classified.